Welcome, today's video is on my personal favorite add-ons for Firefox. Now, if you do not have Firefox already, just go into Google and type Firefox, and it should be the first link there. Or, alternatively, you can go to mozilla.org slash en dash us slash firefox slash new. And then just download it for free. It's a free web browser. It's one of the fastest I find. By default, it's installed with Ubuntu, so that's what I'm using on here right now. Now for the first add-on, I will post all of these links in the description for later downloading. Now, first one is called Adblock Plus 2.0.3. If you're annoyed by advertising, banners, YouTube commercials, pop-up, anything of the sort, this is the best one out there, I find, with 13 million people five-starring it. It's pretty good. <laughs> Basically, blocks everything. If you are watching a vi YouTube video and a commercial comes up, this will block it, and so you can go instantly, instantly to the video. You don't have to wait for it anymore. This is my top one add-on for Firefox. And the next one I'm going to talk about is YouTube to MP3. This takes the link and converts it from a YouTube file, a video file, to an MP3 file. Now, I use YouTube a lot for music and whatnot, so if I want to put it on my iPod, I just go to YouTube, and underneath the video, as you can see, that's the little timeline bar, it's just right under that, and you can click H, uh, high quality, or you can just convert it normally, and then it will redirect you to a new page, and where it will convert it, and then you can download it. Now the next one I'm going to talk about is called My Homepage 1.2. I like this one because you can just, wh whenever you click a new tab, it opens your homepage on that tab. I don't know if many of you will find this useful, but I tend to need to go to my homepage a lot, so it works good for me. Next one, this this is high in my books. I really like this one because I'm always going around the internet thinking, like, oh, I should probably read all this, but I don't really have time to. So this one's called Read It Later 2.1.4. Now you can save pages that you're on with just one click. As you can see here in your little browser, there will be a little arrow looking thing. And if you click that, it'll basically favorite or bookmark the page onto kind of like a cloud storage. If you log into your account on a different computer, you can access your reading list. So I find this very handy because I'm on multiple devices all the time. And then here is a list of the things that you favor, and you can, I believe it's up here, or on the side here, and then it's just a little drop down list, and it says, and you can check off the ones you th you've already read and whatnot, it keeps you pretty organized. Next one's called Turn Off the Lights, I don't know if this is very useful, but it looks kind of cool, it gives you a little more emphasis on your video, what it does is, blacks out everything around the video and just shows the video. This is the normal one. I think if you just click it'll go to the black uh, faded area. Next one's called Tiny URL Generator and what it does is with a click of a button at the bottom of your browser it allows you to create a tiny URL. What this does is basically you take a long uh, link that you want to say send to your buddy or whatever without it being all cluttered and you can just click this and it'll make it smaller. Next one, this is a safety measure you can use for your browser. It's called WOT Safe Surfing. Now, it basically it's a website where it tells you what sites are trusting, which ones are not trustworthy, and you can also rate the site to see if it's 
um, worthy of trust <laughs> or whether it's a bad site it's got spam or it's a phishing scam something like that and like when you're browsing let's say on Google it'll have a little arrow saying this is or not an arrow a little circle it'll, if it's red it'll be like not very trustworthy and if it's green it's a safe site to go to pretty handy if you want to pick out safe sites now the last one I'm going to talk about is kind of annoying because it makes it like almost too safe. It blocks everything. I mean everything. I mean the only thing that annoys me is it blocks like YouTube sometimes <laughs> or stuff like that. But it, this will make your browser really really safe. I mean if you can set it so that you go into your uh, properties and say like oh this site is safe but even then it, it kind of doesn't work that well but other than that this will make it very very safe for your computer to go to thanks for watching and if you have any personal favorites comment below and I may do another video on additional add-ons that you should use Thank you.